All right, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of behind the scenes of what kind of stuff is left over at a bin store after the cheapest day of the week. Sometimes bin stores do a dollar, sometimes they do 50 cents, sometimes they do a fill a bag. We do a dollar day and this is the kind of stuff that we have left over at the end of the week. I know that before I had a bin store, I was always really super curious. Some stores would do like a pallet of merchandise and they would sell it to resellers. Some people thought it was a good deal. Some people didn't. Some people figured, you know, if it's after a dollar day or after a fill a bag, there's no possible way there's anything of value left inside the bin. So what's the point of paying even $50 for a pallet full of merchandise? Well, our bin store actually does $10 mystery boxes every week with everything that's left over. So I want to show you guys what kind of items go in those $10 mystery boxes so you could see if you think it's worth it. And uh, maybe we'll find some really neat items that customers passed over for only a buck. So it's a race against the clock. They're filling mystery boxes on that end, so we're going to start at this end. Let's see if we can find anything good. Well, right off the bat here, we've got some really pretty nude press-on nails. There's no glue, but at least there's nails. We've got a high-speed 8K HDMI cable. I mean, it's not a long cable, it's only a three-foot cable, but HDMI cords, there's two of them right here. I believe they're still in there. Yeah, they're not empty boxes. Can't beat an HDMI cord for only a buck. Uh, you have to forgive me, I forget which, uh, which Disney movie this is from. But there's decorative napkins for a birthday party. There's an oh dear Christmas stocking. We do have a lot of Christmas. We have a lot of Christmas that's been going in these mystery boxes. Uh, we've got a 3D house and Christmas scenario cookie cutter set. And they're all in there to make 3D cookies. I can't... It's got to be the time of year. I don't know why somebody wouldn't have picked that up for a buck. Oh, look at this little tin sign. When you walk through the storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of the lark. Walk through the wind, walk through the rain, through your dreams, be tossed and blown. Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart and you'll never walk alone. You'll never walk alone. Aww. Nobody wanted that for a dollar. Come on now. Let's see what else we can find. We've got some protective tablet cases. There's another HDMI cord. There's some sort of Christmas, oh, Christmas stockings and they're still sealed. There's some planner fasciitis inserts and they're in there it's not empty i can't believe someone didn't score that for a buck haunted cookie house kit there's actually two of them in there more hdmi more hdmi cords um i have a feeling that that's a bad word on a napkin but napkins of course we've got tons of face masks Oh, there's a little Christmas wreath. Nobody wanted that. I remember one of the most noteworthy things I found after Dollar Day was a presidential challenge coin. I cannot remember which president it was for, but we found it in the bins and it was worth like 40 bucks. So of course being just a little coin, nobody noticed it. But that was, that was a pretty big find for only a dollar that was completely overlooked. There's some Mardi Gras decor. Oh, it's not just decor, it's a whole freaking party pack. Some sort of carrier bag. a light up purge mask. Is that a light up one? Well, it's a purge mask nonetheless. Another wreath. Oh, look at that Christmas wreath. People overlooking stuff. Some sort of a drawer organizer. Get 
Anybody want some collard green seasoning mix? Rottweiler puppy's calendar. Oh. Oh, they're working quick. You find anything good over here? Wig cap. A wig cap? <laughs> oh, <it's> not. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, it's for 2022. It's like an appointment book. Complete probiotics for your dog and cat. Oh, it's past date, probably why it's left. Let's not forget about the food over there. I don't know if we should put it in there or not, honestly. I have no idea. I don't know if people would be mad at us for a box of cereal that expired in 2022. They might get angry. I'm halfway tempted to open one up and try it to see if it's really that bad. They're like, is cereal from 2022 really that bad? This was left? We had customers paying five and six dollars a set for these. I cannot believe this is still here after dollar day. That's wild to me. Oh, what's a name that tune? Notepad. Little thing so you could play your own, you know, game. It's a notepad for that. Oh, look at the little Halloween gnome. Look at the little Halloween gnome. He's cute. Nobody wanted him. Makes my heart sad. Oh, what's this? Oh, for a 13th birthday born 2009. Blood bags. Oh, it's just for drinks. It's not actual blood bags. <laughs> I was about to say, well, we do get everything. Can of Glucerna. And it's not expired. Isn't this stuff expensive? Oh, there's a knee compression sleeve. Postal. They're gaining on me. They're gaining on me. This is also kind of a test to see how fast. You guys have been going for six minutes and 46 seconds. Oh, she got the shovel. We got a shovel. We got a shovel. Yeah. Mask. Yeah, I would say the majority of this stuff is definitely seasonal. Seasonal and face masks. Which doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. It's just not particularly things that people want this time of year. Aw. This just needs batteries and it lights up. Look at that tree. That would look so pretty sitting on a, on a shelf. 3D foam Christmas tree, still sealed. Oh no. Is this from Black Phone? Is that what that is from? It's hard to, it's hard to see out of this. Maybe. Oh, there we go. I just had to get my eyelashes through. Nobody wanted this for a dollar? Breaks my heart. Aw. There's a color by numbers activity page. Actually, activity set. There's a whole bunch of pages in there. Some snowflake window clings. Huh. 
Huh. Coffee mug for a veterinarian. Some ribbon. Let's go see the clothes. We're gonna start getting in the way. So, lots of phone cases. Seems like we get through the top layer every week though. So that's not too bad. The clothes bin. What kind of stuff we got left. These are still here. These Wonder Woman looking boots. Swimming bottoms. Yeah, the clothes bin is definitely more picked through than the other stuff. Looks like all the sellable, sellable clothing is pretty much gone. There's nothing too exciting here. This looks like a costume of some kind. Couldn't tell you of what, but it's a costume of some kind. And I don't understand how these are left every week. I know it's not Halloween, but these are adorable. They're the, the things that you tie around the tree, so it looks like a witch crashed. Every week we have those left. It's like nobody ever buys them. And then lots and lots of Christmas ornaments. I'd be stocking up if I was a shopper. Christmas ornaments, I had to go buy some for the first time in a long time last year because, you know, we get Christmas ornaments after Christmas, so when I needed them, I had to go pay full price, and they're a lot more expensive than I remember them to be. And then we have just a few breakables left. But other than all of that, it's pretty barren here. Pretty barren. So this week we ended up with a little bit more than usual. Uh, we have 24 mystery boxes this week, but it could mean a lot of different things. It could mean that we just had more inventory out that didn't sell this week. It's really hard to say. We actually had a much better day with revenue. Uh, or just rather a much better weekend with revenue than we had the week before. And the week before we had fewer mystery box boxes, which means in theory we sold more items, but not necessarily because we don't really have a total piece count every single week. We just have a piece count based on the number of units sold. And so there's lots and lots of ebbs and flows. Uh, but obviously this week we have more mystery boxes, which is just fine. I recently uh, developed a relationship with a local reseller who has been buying the majority of my mystery boxes every week. And she actually makes grab bags out of them for, uh, for her audience and her, uh, her customers. So She's been in contact with me to buy as many mystery boxes as I will let her. So the fact that we have more this week, it doesn't even bother me because I know that they're gonna get sold. Prior to doing the weekly mystery boxes, what we were doing was just kind of leaving items in the bins and we were just like going to town regarding like the trash aspect of the bins. We would go really, really hard on the trash. We would take out a lot of the broken, unsellable merchandise, and we would just leave the sellable stuff just in the bins, and then we would put new stuff on top of it. And what we would do is we would do a three-week sales cycle, meaning for three weeks, we would just clear the trash out and put new stuff on top. And then at the end of that third week, we would do a fill-a-bag event where we would charge $10 for one of our jumbo shopping bags, not like a regular t-shirt bag, but a jumbo size shopping bag. And people love fill-a-bag 
But the problem with Philabag was we were losing way too much money on Philabag Day, to be completely honest. So we started doing mystery boxes after the Philabag. And those were only $5 mystery boxes because... If I'm being honest, it was like nothing good. I mean, come on, it's after fill a bag. How, what's gonna be left after fill a bag? It's understandable to find good things after dollar because you know if someone didn't wanna pay a dollar for it, they might've paid 50 cents for it or they might've shoved it in a bag with other things for only 10 bucks. So the mystery boxes after fill a bag were a lot cheaper because they were just a lot more junky. Well, we have since started doing $10 uh, mystery boxes every single week and people are loving them. And I personally really like having all of the bins be completely empty and fresh every week because before I don't want to say that they were junky but they were very cluttered all of the bins were very cluttered if it had two weeks worth of leftover stuff with all of the new stuff and I felt like all of that clutter was you know keeping people from seeing the good stuff in the bins because there was so much what we call noise in the bins there was just a bunch of noise and we couldn't see the actual merchandise so i have been loving starting over from scratch every single week and we're just going to continue to do it this way because this is what works for us thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little bit of insight for you know what gets left over in bin stores after dollar day if you like this video and videos like this remember to hit the thumbs up before you leave that lets me know that you like it so that i can create more content like this i will leave a bunch of useful information for you down in the video description don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and ring the notification bell that way you're notified whenever i post a new video right now i have been sticking to a schedule of posting every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and hopefully it continues to be that smooth. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you with my next video. Bye-bye.